Welcome to this latest edition of The Hill with April Ryan. Let's get right to it. The NAACP has issued a travel advisory for the state of Florida. I spoke with Derek Johnson, the head of the organization, about the decision. Those policies not only suffocate the ability of young people to get a more global learning experience, uh, it can potentially cause harm. And so we have members in the state of Florida who needed us to do something, but they didn't want us to completely abandon them. We have partner organizations across the black community who signed contracts to convene there. Uh, the financial hardship will be a high burden. So we said, this is a travel advisory. You travel at your own risk. At the White House, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre spoke about the Florida Republican leadership and their efforts to attack various groups in this political cycle. Former U.N. Ambassador Andrew Young, a lieutenant of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who helped usher in the era of civil rights laws in the 60s, exclusively told the Grio he's not concerned about anti-race sentiments and laws. He believes the immediacy of the Internet gives news in real time, and that fuels a discontent in people. And he believes, ultimately, voters will make things right again. We might roll back a little bit, but it won't be far. And the difference now is, you see, it took us months to find out about Emmett Till's death in the 50s. But everybody in the world knew about George Floyd's death in the first nine minutes and 41 seconds. It was all the way down in New Zealand. Uh, and um, everything that's happened in this time, these times, uh, has been well known. The government has responded to it. The former congressman and former Atlanta mayor also said a lot of armchair quarterbacks are driving the discussion. A lot of people who are out of power and influence and don't know what's going on always would rather think the worst. I always think that, yeah, we have problems, but uh, that's why we're here, to solve problems. And lastly, we talked with the former head of the Republican National Committee, Michael Steele, on the names and faces of color joining the presidential race on the Republican side. We're talking about Tim Scott and Larry Elder. Tim Scott has now officially thrown his hat into the ring along with Larry Elder and a run for president of the United States in 2024. Larry Elder and, and Tim, neither of whom are going to challenge Donald Trump, um, can't seriously believe that, you know, the, the, the gods will move the mountains in a way that says, OK, you're going to be the last person standing and the nomination will be yours. Uh, so I, I don't I don't understand the the politics here because politically it makes no sense um, to do this now. If if Tim, for example, is setting up a potential 2028 run when it'll be an open seat, uh, presuming Biden re-election um, and and so forth, maybe. But in the end, I, I don't get I don't get the end game here. Thanks for joining us for The Hill with April Ryan. Make sure you tune in next week. We'll have someone very special. See you soon. Peace.